Who doesn't love a delicious tuna salad? And this one is easier than ever. Hi, you're watching Plating It at Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. This creamy tuna salad dotted with fresh veggies can be enjoyed in so many different ways. So let's get started. For this recipe, we're gonna be using four cans of tuna and I'm using the solid white tuna. Now we're going to drain out all the water and let's empty it into a bowl. Now let's use a fork and mash the tuna down. If you're using flaky tuna, you can skip this step. I'm gonna keep it a little bit chunky because I want to actually taste the tuna with every bite. And that looks just about right. For a nice crunchy texture to our salad, we're gonna be adding three stalks of celery. And I'm gonna cut them first lengthwise. And now we're gonna chop it fine. Let's add the celery to the bowl. To give our salad a nice punch of flavor, we're gonna add half a red onion and give it a fine dice. Let's add this to the celery and the tuna. For a little pop of color and a sweet flavor, we're gonna add half a red pepper. Let's give this a fine dice. Let's toss the red pepper into the bowl. Now to give our salad a nice fresh flavor, let's add a small bunch of cilantro. We're gonna chop that fine so that it gets well distributed in the salad. You can use any herb you have on hand. Parsley and dill would work well too. Now let's add this to the bowl. When it comes to seafood, garlic is its best friend. So we're gonna be adding two cloves of garlic and we're gonna use the garlic press to crush it because we do not want any chunks of garlic in our mouth, we just want that lovely flavor. For that ultimate crunch and a pleasant surprise, we're gonna be adding half a cup of toasted pecans and we're gonna give it a rough chop. You could even add toasted almonds, walnuts, or any nut of your preference. Now let's add this to the party. To tie our salad together, we're gonna to be making a dressing for which we're gonna use one cup of a creamy meal to that, we're gonna add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard and that's gonna give a nice hint of spice and tanginess all in one. For that fresh citrus flavor, we're gonna add the juice of half a lemon. We don't want the seeds getting in, so we're gonna get them in the sieve. For just a tad of sweet, we're gonna add one teaspoon of honey. Now let's season this up with some pepper and we'll add the salt after we give it a taste. Let's give this dressing a good mix so that all the flavors blend together. I love making the dressing separate and then adding it in because that way I'm able to control how much I want to add to the salad. And if there's any extra, I can always preserve it for using it later. I think I'm gonna stop right there and give it a mix. And if we need to add more, we can add a little more later. And I love that little pop of the red color from pepper. It gives it so much of texture and color to the whole salad. I think I'm gonna go all in. Want every bit of all that deliciousness. Let's give it a good mix. Wow, it's looking nice and creamy. Now let's give this a taste and see whether we need to add any salt. I think we're gonna go in with just a pinch. Since the mayo and the fish both contain salt, I always like to give it a taste after mixing the dressing and then deciding whether I need to add any salt. Now let's give this a quick mix. The salad can be had immediately after making, but it's best kept in the refrigerator for a few hours so that all the flavors combine well and then you can enjoy it better. There are various ways you can serve up the salad and enjoy it. One way is by serving it in a bowl and I like to dress it up with some curly salad leaf because I just feel it gives it some nice additional texture. When you set this at a brunch table or a dinner table, it really pops among the other dishes. I 
And because we love to impress, a nice way to serve the supper at a party as an adult is on a wooden platter with some crackers. For a quick lunch, this is my go-to sandwich. We're going to start by putting down some curly green lettuce and then piling on some of the salad. And look at that. Now let's give this delicious salad a taste. I'm going to go with the cracker. I want to get some of the red pepper, some celery, everything along with the tuna. I want the whole deal. Mmm! Wow! All these flavors are so spot on. And the salad dressing just brings it all together. The extra crunch that you get from the pecans, you don't want to miss that when you're making the salad. If you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed already, subscribe! And if you hit on the bell icon, you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. If you enjoy watching my videos, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me your comments below. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. The information is in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.